everyone, welcome to another episode of Jets Mugging Show. Um, episode 50 out of 100. Sorry that my camera's burning over there. I don't know what's going on with that. But, I don't know. But, there's, so, episode 50 of 100 of the first one, crazy, first 100 crazy days of a pleasant Joe Biden. And today, there's not that much news to talk about today, I don't think. Uh, I was going to show a funny video, but my phone is dead. Um, so, but, anyway, um, the only news I was going to talk about is recently, this month, I forgot to report this, uh, uh, recently, uh, but recently, uh, I guess, Joe by put the crazy Joe was in Michigan. Um, Michigan, a car, like a Ford car, car family, I mean, a Ford car factory, I guess. Um, and what happened was the press was there, you know, asking questions, and one of them asked a question about Israel, and that was. This was during the uh, Israel and Gaza violence that was going on down there. Um, sorry that my voice is kind of weird. Um, I just, I just, my ears clogged a little bit because I just, I just I, a couple hours ago I went swimming um, on this Wednesday. So, and sorry if I talk funny because my ears clogged because I just went swimming. So, yeah. I can't believe it's all the Wednesdays, though. It's almost the end of the week. And guess what? Tomorrow, on Thursday, is the last day at the studio ever. So, for filming of the movie. By the way. Um, so, one of the reporters was asking a question about Israel. Um... And Biden, Crazy Joe, was in this Ford truck, this truck, and he told that, uh, he said, no, I'm not going to answer your question. If you keep on asking it, I'm going to, like, push the brake, I mean, push the pedal and run you over. Um, but she did. He said he was just teasing. But the thing is, they just laughed it up, you know, they laughed it off, you know, didn't care, you know, of what he says. Now, Trump, the former, I mean, President Trump said this to the press, that he's got, and he was in a Ford, he put it, he joked around and said, I was teasing, he said, I'm going to ran you over to the press. The press and the media would go crazy. But when Biden says some, when Biden says something, I joked when I'm at that. They didn't care. They were laughing about it, you know, you know. And then put and then Crazy Joe uh, drove up, uh, drove off at uh, this new brand new truck from Ford. Um, it looks like a zebra almost. He just drove away after he said that. So and the press corps laughed and laughed and laughed and said, "Oh, it's okay." Even though he, that was a rude thing to say to someone, threatening like, uh, like threatening somebody. Almost they didn't care, you know. But if it was Trump, if it was President Trump that said some joked around like that, they would go crazy. So. Yeah, so that was crazy. It's sad. It's sad. It's kind of a mean joke to say. It's not funny to say something like that. But but he, he he's Biden. He's crazy Joe, and he can get away with it. You know, if Trump if Trump joked around that way, then he would get he would probably get impeached. Impeached, to be honest. I feel so. Yeah. That's all the news, basically, I think. Also, recently, like a couple of days ago, uh, the Supreme Court 
uh, decided to vote on something for, with uh, Roe versus Wade, the abortion stuff, they, I guess they, uh, they didn't overturn the law. They didn't t overturn Roe over Wade. They should have. They should, but what they did, the Supreme Court did for the to help abortion, to get rid of abortion, or try to get rid of abortion, or reduce abortion, hopefully we can get, save baby, you know, save the unborn. I guess they made the law stricter, I guess, more strict, and they're trying to get rid of Roe versus Wade, and they're trying to get rid of abortion, which that's great. We need to Protect our baby. We need to protect our baby, save our babies. We need to, you know, they say black eyes matter. And that includes black, black baby matter too. We all matter. All lives matter. Humans. All humans matter. Babies matter. Unborn babies matter. Adults matter. Teenagers matter. Young adults matter. Elder people, elderly people, senior citizens matter. Other disabled people matter. Disordered people matter. They have disorders. Everyone matter. So we all matter on this planet. We're all co we're all created equal. That includes black, white, Mexican, all of them, all the races matter, including babies. And hopefully, we can solve this issue. Um, I think Mississippi or Missouri has a stricter law now on abortion. So that's good. But we need to do more. We need to protect our children and protect our baby. And whatever Supreme Court, the Supreme Court did, they did something great, I think, with this uh, abortions law. So I think that's what happened. This thing. I don't I don't know the full details on it, but I do know that the Supreme Court did do something for abortion to fix the abortion problem and try to end it or make it more stricter or something. Um, but we really need to defund plan plan her plant plant uh, parent parenthood and you know you know I get if you if someone gets raped or something, or and doesn't want the baby because not it's not ready or prepared for the baby, I get that. I get, you know, if you get the baby, if you get raped, you don't want to have the baby because you don't want to think of you know, the bad moments that you have with that person that raped you. I understand that, you know, but if you don't want that child because it brings back bad memories, then send it to. Do not abort it. Do not kill it. Give birth to it. And if you don't want it, if you don't want it at all, that's fine. If you think you're going to feel bad about yourself or something, or feel bad, have bad memories, that's fine. Let's get, don't, don't kill the baby. You know, don't abort the baby. What people need to do is really just, if, if they feel like they're going to have a bad moment, I mean bad memories from the rape, then they can uh, take it to an adoption center or something and have a family that really wants a baby to adopt it. Or how about even us, like a gay, pe uh, a gay couple or that can't have a baby or, or a husband couple that can't have a baby because it's men and men, women and men, you know. That's not right either. That's not good either. But they can adopt that child that you might not want. That can solve two issues. One issue is the bad memories of rape. If you ever, if someone raped or someone that raped you or something, or that, or raped that person, then sorry. Um, if they don't want that baby because it brings back bad, sad memories. I get that. Just sell it to um, adoption. Because there's so many families and there's so many couples that want to have a baby, that want to have a kid. Or even fat people, well, even like 
people on the big side too that can't really women that can't get pregnant would like to adopt a baby it's a dream to have a baby for certain people now there's a bunch of people that want to adopt adopt babies so say no to abortion and say yes to adoption if you want to adopt your baby or sell it to adoption that's fine Use that baby get stiff and enjoy its life. Okay? That's what we need to do. And I hope we solve this crisis once and for all. You know how COVID is a crisis and racism is a crisis. We need abortion is a crisis too. But liberals don't care about babies. They don't care about that. They only care about black eyes matter. Black eyes matter. And, and um... And abortion. They don't care about saving lives and COVID and saving COVID lives and nurses lives and stuff. And caring for nurses and caring for COVID and and black eyes matter and black and you know but they don't care about abortion they have, yet babies die, you know. So we need to figure out something and solve this crisis and say no to abortion, you know. And give birth to that baby, even though you might not want it, and not be, and you might not be prepared to have it, but sell it to some, I mean, give it up for adoption, adoption, sorry, and have some family member, or someone that wants to start a family that can't, it's not easy for them to adopt it. So there we go, you know. If you're not ready for a baby, if you're not planned. If you're not prepared for a baby, then give it up to adoption. And let that baby live. Live its life. Okay? Instead of abortion. Now, I think that's it. I think... I don't know what else. I'm trying to think in my head what else has happened this week. From, since Tuesday. So, since Monday and Tuesday. Because to, uh, today is Wednesday. Try and think what has happened. What crazy thing has happened. I think that's it. I really do think that is. That's it. I think. Try and think. I'm so, well, one more thing. I'm sorry that I didn't get to show a funny video today, but my phone is dead. I'm sorry about that. But on Friday, I swear, on Friday, we will do a funny video. So, I promise. If I can't do a funny video on Friday, then I'll do it on Monday. But I will try to do it Monday. I'll put effort into it on Monday. Maybe on Friday, sorry. Um, so... Yeah. Well, that's all I have to say for now in this episode of John's Game Show. Uh, if I missed anything from this episode that I f forgot to say and find, and find out from Wednesday, uh, from, on Thursday, uh, to talk about on Friday, I will talk about it on Friday. So, but that's all I can think of for today's episode of John's Game Show. The 50th episode ever. Can you believe that? We're getting closer and closer each day. So... See you guys in the next episode, 51 of 100, and I'll see you then. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to like, you can. If you want to dislike, you can. I recommend, strongly recommend that you like. Well, you know, but I'm not mandating you to do anything. I'm not a crazy rhino or Democrat person that tells you what to do. Um. 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 If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. If you if you subscribe, if you want to, push the notification bell if you want to. If you don't have to, you don't have to subscribe or push the notification bell if you don't want to. You can comment if you want to, or share if you want to. I strongly recommend all of those things I mentioned. I strongly recommend like, subscribe, notification bell, and comment and share. I recommend those. And if you want to dislike, you can. It's up to you.
But anyway, have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. See you in the next episode. And see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. See you on Friday. Bye.